that means we created uh, our our projects to project depending which 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 development tools you are or play in java and then you can build uh, the the project as it is and so so let's have a, explain a little bit the project structure so this is our main application project structure and then uh, then and then, then, then the, our all functionalities. The, today, I try to explain you a little bit uh, the, the query lab the programs and how it looks like. You can, if I go there, you look like this the, the screen. So let's have a talk a little bit. This is the UI first. So you have a titles, and this is the UI based on the Java Swing. I will go to detail the, the every every line of functions, every line of code of this this explanation. So if I go to this, this is the title of the, my, my software tools or use software tools and there is a possibility you have a, you have a open shape files or you have to connect with the, you can connect to post GIS database and you can also the, is also the, also the, to the other sources. And then uh, if I go to their shape files and then you can see the shape files is there. Uh, so you can upload the shape files and then uh, you can go to the specific one and then select the shape file one. So if I, I go to the browse, uh, and then let's see the, the, the one of them. No, it's, let's see, I'll explain it a little bit later. So I didn't select it yet. So that means in the, in the data upload, I have a, a shape file upload, connect to the both GI database, connect to the data store and exit it. Uh, then this, let's have a start again. So I start the application again. This is the main methods, the Jingis lab. So you can run it from like, like here. <coughs> so this is the applications and you can go, and then here you can see that there's a possibility to, to, to tabular feature view and then feature counter and, and feature geometry. And then you have a map view and this is the converter. This part is still not finished yet, but you can, I can, I can, I will continue in the future when I have enough time to do this uh, converter, uh, converter possibility shape file to JSON, KML, and CSV, and post GIS table to the KML and CSV, and help and exit functions. So let's let's have an example to to put it uh, to detail uh, uh, example from the shape file how it look like. So you browse the shape files. Let's have a uh, one example if I have it here. So let's see. So I have something in these data sets, maybe in Bangladesh, last, last data set from OSM, for OpenStreetMap, uh, from GU Fabric, that's everybody knows there is available source across the world. There's many open source data you can integrate and you can develop based on that data sets. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, you see that the, the roads data sets, roads has a, has a D, uh, DBF projection file, Quick as file, as BN file, and as BP file, and shape file. This is the important one, the shape file that's needed to be imported. You can see the imported shape files, and then go to the next button, and there is additional information. If the additional information you needed to, you can go also the additional information by this way. Other namespace, and then other things. This parameter we don't need to, but if you need it, you can use it, those parameters. So finish. So it, is, it says connected successfully and checked parameters. And you see the, the my, my level is coming here, the, the OSM roads, and then after the OSM roads, you can have the possibility to, 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 to load these informations into the tabular forms. You see the tabular form informations. That's the part which is clear, I think so. So you have the tabular forms, and all the information, the, it has a features ID, and then this is the most important one, the geometry ID. So you see the geometry informations for, for, for road means this line geometry, line string geometry. So everything is there. So there's so many informations. There's thousands of records here. You see the OSM ID, name of the, name of the, the, the street, and then reference number, type of the street, and then you have the uh, new one way or breeze or tunnels and depending that's how you know that this is the data structure from the OSM, the open street maps from GU fabric. So this is the geometry informations and then you can manipulate this you can query it, filter it, and this is the number of the your feature ID. 
So if, even though you can calculate, okay, you have a calculate how many features they have here, but this is the number of features that you have within the, this, this is so 22,626 they go into the, into the, this, in this table. So the big, big tables, that's true. There's a many, this is the data from the 2016 in Bangladesh, in across the country, the different type of roads in primary, secondary, and tertiary roads, this ones. So even though you can, you can only the, get the features geometry or part only. So it's a geometry part. So that means you can also the geometry part to export the D underscore geom columns. So, so that means you have a shape files. You just input the shape files and you visualize this information into the into the your 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 your, your software tools with the different sources. So for this case, we can open just like we have the shape files open, you can connect to the Bootskis database and then connect to other storage. So if I go to the map view, maybe the <coughs> you can go to the map view and then see the map view part, so how it look like. So that is, uh, this is this one, <coughs> sorry. And then uh, we have the road, where is the road shape? This is the road shape file, you can go there. So there's the feature selections, this is the most important one. The styling, I will show you the, the this, this this part of the project, how can styling is works. So we can see because this is the line of uh, feature, the feature type is you know, geometry type is, the, is line geometry. You can select the colors, maybe the, or maybe the red colors, or maybe or some black colors. And then you have a possibility and switcher preview this section. You can preview it, and you have a HSV color combination or HLS SL color combination, RGB color. You can depending which color you try to select is the color code, and then it's CM like a different combination of the of the of the color. This this in the colors color chooser window, you can combine the, those things together and then build the beautiful apps. Let, let's have the, just like default checkings, you know, some, oh, maybe, maybe red, this one, maybe a little bit darker. And even though you can fix it like the, the boundary of the, of the width, line width, and then you can points, you can level it like this one, as, as I said, you can put it like a type of, uh, uh, type of this is the type of root class. You can can have name type, and then you can do one way to it and all possibilities. So let's say have a type based and um, the legend. You can build it. So you can have a group. It's really because it it was a really big data sets and twenty two thousands. It is faster. That's what we expected. So that means we have the the are really level properly. And then you have a zoom in, zoom in functionalities. You can point out and then you can go there and pointing, zoom in, zoom out. And then they have a possibility for the projection system automatically click the, in the projection systems, you have reference. And this is information for the, for the projection systems. And then show the definition of the reference systems. You can, because the WGS 1984, 84 the projection system that's all information that you need to to control and if i go to that a little bit zoom out and then plus and maybe we can make it like here this is the capital city of uh, bangladesh so maybe here so a little bit deeper so this is to see that the primary road secondary road and tertiary road and then you can also the selector uh, no, the selector. No. So this is the selector is running. Uh, this is selectors. So this is the selector ones, and then even though you can get the informations and uh, information about the these these features, uh, this, you see the the name of the roads and the OSM ID, multi-line string OSM ID, and and this is the mid four row type of primary, and then all all attribute that you need to have it in the in the shape files or in the database. That's the information. 
and they had to bear this demand.